Marcus Melo. Um, welcome everyone. It is a pleasure to stand in front of you today. Very honored um, to be in, in South Africa, standing as uh, managing director of, of La Liga in South Africa, but also in, in different countries such as Namibia, Botswana, Swatini, Lesotho, um, and, and many others, uh, which is uh, but of course, South Africa will be uh, our core country in terms of, uh, of activities. Um, I cannot start without uh, thanking Antonio uh, for all that he has been doing for the past four years. Uh, he's been a pioneer for La Liga, not only in South Africa, but also internationally. This, is, this was the second office that La Liga opened internationally, which uh, I think with that, uh, with that, um, with that uh, you, know, you can, you can understand how important is South Africa for La Liga. Um, that's why uh, I think we also got the second biggest team around the international offices. Uh, huge team and very, very important. I'm very, very happy with this team. Uh, La Liga blessed me with the, with the best that we can get. And I think with, with all of them, we could achieve a lot of, uh, and tackle a lot of challenges. Um, also, I continue thanking Antonio because these two months that we've been together, I've been learning a lot. Uh, this this man with huge experience will never let you go uh, from La Liga <laughs> till you say, uh, "Please let me go." Uh, we won't. <laughs> uh, but uh, now a new era is starting for La Liga in South Africa. I'm very happy to be here. I feel very welcome in this country. I think we got a lot of uh, things in common between South Africa and Spain. This is the first and only country that saw Spain to, to and witness Spain to win a World Cup back in 2010, almost 10 years ago. It's a lot of time. Uh, but uh, I think there are a lot of interesting projects that we should be developing. Of course, uh, it's going to be difficult because uh, you can understand the size, the incredible size of the boots that I'm going to try to fill in. But uh, I'm excited for the road ahead and, and aim to, to make happy Antonio. La Liga and South Africa, um, and then to, to achieve all, all the goals that we've been targeting. Under my leadership, our aim is to take La Liga and local football to ever to even greater heights. Um, of course, there will be some things uh, done differently, but uh, we will be always following the right path that Antonio opened four years ago. Um, I come from a more or less a small city in, in, in Spain, Zaragoza. I think almost any of you will know about it, but uh, it's between Madrid and Barcelona, we are used to say. So we're proud from it. Uh, I'll invite you today. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, but when, when I was growing in my city, uh, football was my, not just a game, it was a, a way of life to, to my colleagues and to me. Um, I think it brought us to us a lot of, lot of values. Uh, and we've been educated through sports and mainly football. Uh, so this is one of the goals we would like to transmit to the new generation that is coming. You know, I'm, I'm still young, uh, but I think there's a lot of things that uh, can be transferred to the new generation through football and through sports. Um, you know, humble opinion is the best way to educate people and to put values on the table and to and to make them. Uh, do things greater because it's a, it's a team sport and all of that comes together I think is very important uh, and brings prosperity to our societies. However, at La Liga we do understand that these kind of projects like we've been working at a, like local tournament, working in communities is key not uh, for us and for, for South Africa. We will continue following that path, it's very important we achieve with Oma Club Games, SCARA, working with Tembi Tournament, and many others that uh, I won't, I won't uh, to bore you mentioning all of them. But uh, I think the legacy tries, that La Liga tries to develop and what the communities are getting with those tournaments, when you see the joy that uh, everyone celebrates, uh, I think it's, it's very important. Apart from that, we understand that uh, this kind of event Many of them come from relationships, but that this is why we also support a lot and the value that the media offer to, to La Liga and to brands like us and as uh, our professionals. And that's why I want to thank you from my heart uh, for you to be here today and to make some time in, in your tight agendas. 
uh, it's a pleasure, it's an honor. Um, I hope that uh, I can do good with all of you in the near future and also in the long term. Uh, I'm here to stay at La Liga uh, and as I said I'm very happy to be here and, uh, and I hope we can work together on a long term basis and uh, to have greater outcomes on together. Um, I'm very humble and honored to be trusted with this new position. Um, as I mentioned, I don't want to, to forget uh, all my team. Uh, they are the best I could get. Uh, so it's the best uh, out of the best. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, I think I'm very excited to be working alongside by you. Uh, I look to the future to continue that and to achieve all the goals that uh, we've been putting together. Um, now I want to introduce you to a brief presentation about what La Liga is going to do in the near future and what we've been doing during Antonio's, which has been amazing as you know. Um, I won't be long, I promise, because this is the most boring part of the evening. So uh, I know that you prefer the food and the gaming, so I'll be quick, I'll try. You know you can cut me, please. It was back in 1995 but it was amazing. I recommend you to see the match because we won on the, on the 120 minutes with a goal from the, from the half of the pit. Amazing goal. Um, one of the things that I started five years ago, and Antonio has been one of the, of the guys who's been leading this path, is the internationalization of La Liga. Currently, we've got eight, 11 regional offices. We've got presently 45 countries, and we are more than 600 employees. To, so you can compare, but in 2012, there were only 47 guys working at La Liga. So the growth has been rocketing. Currently, we're broadcasted in 188 countries, and that means 3.2 billion viewers all over the, the season. That's more or less half of the world's population. So that explains why are we in South Africa, and why are we in Japan and many other countries, because our fans are not anymore only in Spain, are all over the world. So we need to be closer to them when there's two that need, because South African fan is as most valuable to us as a Madrid-based fan. So we need to be closer to all of them, and our main objective is to bring La Liga closer to South Africa and to all of their fans. As La Liga South Africa, our vision is to position ourselves as the second most followed league in, in the country, we don't want to overcome PSL. Uh, we want to work together with all the stakeholders in order to grow the game. We understand that if football grows, at the end La Liga will grow too. So we are not here to overcome anyone, we are here to work side by side and to grow the game at football itself. To, to give you some figures, in Spain currently, professional football represents 1.37% of our GDP and employs 230,000 people, which is a lot because we're a smaller country than South Africa. So we understood that football brings prosperity to our country, and I think that can be achieved in many others. As for we have knowledge, the love of football <coughs> in Africa, uh, the, how this game is enjoyed here, it's amazing. Um, I also enjoy a lot uh, watching like South Africa. It's, 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 join with, with, with football. During the past year we've been working on a lot of activations. As you know, we brought Barcelona to play against Mamila de Sandons a couple of years ago. We've been participating in the We Are One for the Festival. We organized a classical public viewing a couple of years ago in Mandela Square. Sometimes the idea was amazing. Around 3,000 people. But also we activated with private ones, more to the business sector. Last one was in Cape Town, we've been in Jogur. We are trying to develop different projects all around the country in order to, to get to everyone, not only to be based in, in, in a couple of cities. We've been also participating at the Ranzo, and one of the main projects, and you are well aware, was grassroots football. I think that's the, the most important milestone and, and legacy that uh, Antonio is leaving to, to this company because local for a football tournament, which we've been part of, of the three consecutive years, for example, in the Kwama Global Games, last year 140,000 people attended. Uh, I think the footprint that lives in the community is very important. And this year, we are gonna try to not only be, be based in Kwama Global Games, 
during the, the tournament, but also to work on the legacy that this tournament leaves to the community and to be third 365 days per year. Uh, so the community feels that La Liga is always with them, not only during, during December. We've been also, I mentioned, Nona Flana, Let's Meet, Port, Port Elizabeth, Kuhur Lenny, New Year's Cup, a lot of them. But also, we cannot forget about our pro global sponsors, uh, which all of them stand behind me. Uh, we've been trying to activate with them to bring value to the brands, as we did, we believe. Uh, last year, bringing Sevilla to, to Tanzania to play against Simba. We've been also creating private agreements exclusively for our for our partners like Esporpesa, um, to them I already mentioned. And also I think it's very important to be focused on the on the on the development of the of the young players. I think there's a lot of talent around this country that's uh, that's a fact. I think that's one of the most talented countries I ever visited. But all the players, South Africa, in Spain, in Japan, need need to be, even though they got talent, need to be properly coached. So um, La Liga has been focusing on, on, on coaching and developing players all over the world in, in the past few years. For example, we got a huge break with China. We developed 14,000 players through the years. We've been coaching 1,400 coaches and it's an agreement that is still ongoing. We, we plan to reach 500,000 uh, children educated through La Liga methods. <coughs> One of the very interesting projects, future players, these guys will see the video after, got the very amazing opportunity to go to Spain and to enjoy and learn from, from the top clubs in, in La Liga. But as I mentioned, you guys and media are very important. We will be trying to continue engaging with us, uh, with you, sorry. Uh, as we did sometimes, uh, I hope uh, we can have a fluid conversation all, all, over the, all over the time. And if you need something from us, we'll be very, very happy to, to try to provide. Uh, uh, please feel free to, to come to La Liga. La Liga has opened for all of you. Um, um, so we're looking for, for great relationships. We'll be doing more things like, like the La Liga Derbys. I know that some of you were there. Hope to enjoy it. I think it's a beautiful project. Um, but I also need to focus on the institutional relationships. Of course, uh, our agreement with SAFA is the most important milestone that we got in this country. Without you guys, I think it uh, might, be, might be much more difficult to, to be developing projects and to, to be present uh, on, on, on a daily basis in, in South Africa. And we look forward to strengthen that agreement to sit together in the near future to, to try to, to develop more interesting projects uh, and to, to be with you because uh, I think it's very fruitful for, for everyone, uh, SAFA, La Liga, but also South Africa because you guys represent the football in this country and you do very well. Also, for example, we've been doing with, uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, one of the examples I like a lot is it's the things that we are trying to do together with women's football. I think that's very important. We've been doing that in, in Spain and with you guys here. Uh, for us, it's, 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 we want to congratulate you. And as I said, we cannot forget about our partners. Of course, um, SAFA, but also UNICEF, Botswana Premier League, COSAFA, Houghton Province, and all of our product sponsors. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to all the media. Um, I'm Marcos, you got me here. I think uh, I'll stay a, a little long in this country, which is very welcome. Uh, I hope you enjoy the game, the food, um, and thank you very much. <laughs>